Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video, we are going to solve another question based on molecular orbital diagram that was asked in JAM 2024 chemistry paper. So the question is B2 and C2 respectively are. So what we have to comment? We have to comment on the magnetic nature, whether they are diamagnetic or paramagnetic. So for that, what we have to do? We have to draw the molecular orbital diagram. So first we are drawing it for B2. Okay, boron, boron atomic number is 5. So the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So total there are 5 electrons. Okay, 1s is not shown here. We have to fill only 2s and 2p orbital. So total for one boron there is 3 electrons. So for the other boron also there is 3 electrons. Okay, 2 electrons in the 2s, 1 electron in the 2p. Okay, so total we have to fill 6 electrons and always remember the lower energy orbitals are filled first 1, 2, 3, 4 ok these are bonding molecular orbitals ok this is anti-bonding anti-bonding molecular orbital ok 4 now we have to fill 2 more so 1 and 2 ok the pairing takes place only when both the orbitals Having the same energy, they are singly filled. Okay, that is single electron is uh, added in both the uh, orbitals having same energy. Then only the pairing takes place. This is which rule? Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. So here you can see there what there are two unpaired electrons. Okay, so this is what this is going to be paramagnetic. Okay, so B2, this was for one boron atom, this is another boron atom. Okay, so B2, it is paramagnetic. Now, we have to write down, similarly, we have to write down for carbon. Carbon atomic number is 6. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So, here how many electrons you have to fill? 4 for one carbon, 4 for another carbon. So, total 8 electrons we have to fill. Take one carbon, another carbon. 2s has 2 electrons. 2p has how many electrons? 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. So, total 8 electrons you have to fill. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 singly, uh, singly occupied orbitals are there. Then you start the pairings. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, total 8 electrons are completed. So, can you see any unpaired electrons? No, all of them are paired. Okay, there are four pairs of the electrons. So, this is what this is diamagnetic. Okay, there is no unpaired electron. Paramagnetic means it should have at least one unpaired electron. Here, there are no unpaired electrons. So, it is diamagnetic. So, what is going to be the final answer? B2 is paramagnetic, C2 is diamagnetic. So, correct answer will be option A. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.